Welcome to Studio 10 on the Bedfont Lakes campus in London. We hope you enjoy your visit and that you'll find the following presenter training useful. Hello, are you here to do a recording? Would you like to see around the studios, Joe? It is Joe, isn't it? Right, let's start off with the control room. In a live broadcast, the production team controls the cameras from here, adds graphics, mixes your voice. Better not touch anything. Remember, the production team are here to help you, so be sure to tell them what you want and give them any scripts and slides at least two days in advance of the broadcast or recording. Also, read any guidelines they may have for you. They also have edit suites to add the finishing touches to your production. This is Studio One, where all the live Cisco TV broadcasts take place. And this is Studio Two. All the facilities are at your disposal. Just talk to the production team. And remember, the more time you give to preparing, the more choice you have. Now, are you recording a Cisco cast? video on demand or participating in a live Cisco TV program. This is where broadcasts for Cisco TV take place. Now, as you can see, we can change the studio to meet your needs. You might be standing up, presenting, presenting in front of a chroma key background, which could be either a blue screen or in this case, a green screen. You may be sitting down, you may be interviewed, or you may want something less formal. Well, perhaps not that informal. You can change the ambiance to this, or perhaps this. Just talk to the production team. And remember, the more time you spend preparing, the more choice you have. Let's see what happens if you're invited to take part in a Cisco TV broadcast. If you're invited onto Cisco TV, it's wise to try and speak with the organiser beforehand. Who's invited me to be on this programme? This is a good question. It's wise to find out as much as possible about the programme beforehand. So will it be a, a presentation, an interview or Q&A discussion? That's worth asking. Presentations and interviews require different skills and therefore different amounts of preparation. What is the programme? It's another good question. The more you know about it, the more you can prepare for it. And will it be going out live or, or will it be recorded? You need to know this, but always assume that it will be going out live. And when is the recording to take place? This is a good question. The more preparation time you have, the more confident you will feel and your contribution will be therefore more effective. Remember, most live broadcasts will have a rehearsal time set aside to make you feel comfortable. So who's going to be the presenter or main presenter? You should ask this because you might know the presenter or facilitator. He or she may be a colleague within the company. If you don't know the presenter or facilitator, it would be wise to meet him or her before you go on air. And how is the programme to be used, internally or externally? It's important when preparing for the programme to know whether you can discuss information which may be private or sensitive to the company, or indeed divisions of the company. What clothes should I wear? That's a good question. Probably not what you've got on. Always wear clothing that suits the occasion and the message. Try not to wear anything too dark, or stripes or checks and remember this is Cisco TV it's not a James Bond movie and what are the topics to be covered ah now that's right you must find out all the topics you're expected to cover no and when's it being broadcast that's a good point the information you give now may not be relevant in three months time why me it's a good question you need to know exactly what contribution you're making to the programme and how it's to be used. Will I be the only contributor? That's another good question. 
If you discover that you'll be appearing with somebody else, you might wish to contact that person beforehand. Have you heard the one about the presenter? Uh, not now, Joe. And will there be a team in the studio to help me? Yes. There's a dedicated production team per programme. Make it your business to talk to them well in advance. They're all there to help you, but only if you make time for them. And remember, be sure to read the guidelines they have for you. Can you just remind me of the questions I should ask? Of course, Joe. Whose idea is the programme? What is it? When is it being broadcast? What will be the format? Will it be live or recorded? What is the dress code? And will the programme be internal or external? Who else will be there? Who is the presenter? And what topics will be covered? When is the recording to take place? And is there a team in the studio to help me? Do you have any other hints and tips? Yes, I have. And here they are. Before a broadcast, how prepared should you be? So that was a very interesting discussion. Are there any other points you'd like to comment on or raise? No, not really. No, no I think that's about it really, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've banged on enough. Never waste a moment. Always have three points ready that you'd like the audience to remember, and if you can repeat the points in conclusion, do so. Shall we try again? So that was a very interesting discussion. Are there any other points you'd like to comment on or raise? Well, the project is on target, is ready in development, and will be live in two weeks' time. How much should you involve the audience? We have another question just come in. It's from Sven in Helsinki, who asks, what was your specialist input in this project? Well, it's been quite an interesting three months, really. I mean, it works, and it's been a nice way to spend my time. Oh, and I suppose it might do somebody some good, too. Wrong. Remember, the programme is for the viewer, not yourself. Should we try again? We have another question just come in. It's from Sven in Helsinki who asks, what was your specialist input in this project? Well, Sven, it's revolutionising the lives of all of us here and all around the world, whether we are partners, employees or customers. By being part of this project, all of us, including you, Sven, will benefit. Don't get too complicated. So, Joe, what is the process that goes on in this project? Well, it's very, very simple indeed. We have found in the last six months that if we place the CPBs next door to the 4QYs and under the 2TT slash Deltas Worldwide, especially in HH, and they are incorporated on the lower rack, they will compensate for the seven Roger Novembers on the high summer blast nerd. Wrong. Always remember that your viewers may not be as technically aware as you are, or indeed that English may not be their first language. Sergio, what is the process that goes on in this project? Well, what we have developed will be live in two weeks' time. However, we do appreciate that not everybody will understand the technicalities taking place. So I will run over a few key technical points. But please take the time to download my detailed presentation from our home page and then read it in your own time at your own speed. But first we'll go over the presentation. You must show energy and enthusiasm. So you and your colleagues have been working a long time to bring this to fruition, haven't you? Oh, well, I should say so. God, it's taken absolutely ages, hasn't it, Joe? <laughs> yeah. Still, I suppose it's worth it. Yeah, it's nice. Wrong. Always be enthusiastic, energetic and alert. So, you and your colleagues have been working a long time to bring this to fruition, haven't you? Yes, it's very exciting indeed. Uh, we've been working on this for some time. And we're happy to say that we go live in two weeks' time. Always be courteous, but firm. So, what you are continually saying to me... Uh, no, I am yeah, not. Oh, yes, you are. You've uh, no, I have not. Yes, you have. Haven't? Have. Look, will you just shut up? You would just listen 
for a moment, you might understand what I am trying to say. Um. Shut up! If you're interrupted, don't argue. And don't get angry or personal. So, Joe, what you are continually saying I think is you may be putting words into my mouth. Well, you have intimated. What I have said is that the project is in development and will only go online once it has been thoroughly tested. Always be positive. Never show indecision. So in this project that you've been working on for some time, is quality control that important or getting it out on time? Uh, yeah, 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 I suppose, yeah. Maybe. What was the question? Always be energetic and positive. So in this project that you've been working on for some time, is quality control that important or getting it out on time? They're both equally important. Quality and customer satisfaction are at the heart of our culture. Tell the truth. So, Joe, is the project ready to go online immediately? Um, well, yeah. It's wrong. Always tell the truth. So, Joe, is the project ready to go online immediately? Not quite yet. We're still in the testing phase, but when that's complete, it will go live very soon. Always be prepared for the unexpected. What do you make of today's news stories? Um, I think that Joe would be better to answer that one. Oh, thanks very much. Cheers. How dare you? You come in here asking questions like that? That wasn't in the brief. Look, you either ask the questions we agreed beforehand or don't bother asking the questions. Oh, I can't be bothered with this. Wrong. Never complain or show discomfort at a difficult question and never get angry with the presenter. What do you make of today's news stories? It's always good to hear other people's views. We encourage open communication. We strive for lively debate. Spend time thinking how you're going to close the broadcast. Well, thank you very much for sparing the time to talk to us today. Just want to say uh, thanks to everyone. Mum, Dad, Father, uh, my girlfriend for being there when she, she had to come and pick me up. I take this not only for me, but for you too. All of your dedicated support, the love, the faith that you had in the whole programme. Thank Thanks you. Home. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Wrong, 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 wrong. Finish quietly and silently. Well, thank you very much for sparing the time to talk to us today. Well done. And always remember, be prepared. Involve the audience as much as possible. Try to use ordinary everyday English. Sit forward, look alert and alive. Be courteous but firm. Be enthusiastic with lots of energy. Always tell the truth. Be prepared for the unexpected question and finish neatly and quietly. Get to know the team. Prepare. Get your scripts and PowerPoint slides in on time, two days before your recording. Read the guidelines and, above all, 